Hey guys, in today's From the Install Bay, we're going to talk about something that's really important, speaker phase. So check it out. Okay, so you just put a set of speakers in your car, or you're trying to put a set of speakers in your car, or you want to put a set of speakers in your car, or you already have speakers put in your car, and they don't sound the way you should. There could be a reason for that. They could be out of phase. Now you say, what is this thing that you call phase? Phase is the direction that the speaker moves. Speakers move in, like this, and out. Well, this one's shot, but they move out as well. So if all the speakers aren't moving in the same direction, you get, a, you get the term called out of phase, meaning this one is doing this, and this one is, so you get this right here. You want this, I'm squeezing your head, okay? So there's a couple tools that allow us to check the speaker phase at different aspects of the installation. And they run anywhere from seven to eight bucks. Some of them are free and some of them cost more, hundred bucks. Now there's one, if you've got a smartphone, uh, this just so happens to be an iPhone, there's one app that I like to use that's called Speaker Pop. Okay. Now to do Speaker Pop, all you need is an auxiliary cable. You plug the auxiliary cable into the phone, you plug it into the aux on your radio, you put this in front of the speaker, your microphone, just like that, and it goes tick, 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 and if it says plus, you have it in phase. If it says minus, you have it out of phase. We'll have a video showing you this app at a later date. Now, this little guy here, I picked up on uh, Amazon for like seven bucks. This thing's really nice. It's got a button here, it takes a 9-volt battery, Lights up green if it's in phase, and yellow, or I'm sorry, red if it's out of phase, and yellow if the battery's dead. This one's awesome. Now, you can use them in conjunction with one another. So if you plug this in, if you plug speaker pop in, and you have it popping and making the sound, and you don't want to have a, you don't have an aux cord that's long enough, you can take this guy and just go to each speaker in the door. We'll show you all this. Then you have this guy here. This is the PT9A. This is the premium. This has basically everything we've talked about built into it and more. This is what every installer should have uh, because it'll do everything. It has a, a line output just like the phone. It has a tone generator built into it so that you can test speakers on a bench. And it also has, comes with a CD for your, your pop sound. This one also comes with a CD. Now, let, great, we've talked about all these. Let's put them to practical use. What do they do? Okay, so um, we're going to start with this one. Now we've taken the speaker out of the car and we want to know what is positive and what is negative. Now you could test it with something as simple as a 9 volt battery, strip the wires and pop it. You have a positive side of the 9 volt and a negative side of the 9 volt. Take it to the speaker wire and you want it to move out. So go ahead and you know that this side is positive. So it's moving out, so you know in this case the green is the positive. Now, if you've got one of these cool things, then you just attach this onto the wiring. Turn it on. It'll start ticking. Put this in front of it. It lights up red. That tells us that we have it out of phase. So we'll go ahead and redo it. Now we know we have it in phase. So we can look and see what we have and we can go from there. Now let's say this is already mounted in the door and we want to test it. That's where this guy is nice. So we can just do this and the green light blinks to tell us that it's in phase. Now this is all wonderful if we've got a functioning speaker. What if we don't have a functioning speaker? How do we use these tools to test that? Let's take it into the car and check it out. So we've got our speaker mounted in the door and we have wiring here and we have no idea which one is positive or negative. So we're gonna go ahead and put our phase CD in and see what we get. All right, so what we wanna do is just take, pick two wires and twist them together just to get the speaker to make noise. All right, so it's making noise. Now we're gonna take our phase detector and go here. All right, so we got red, red, green. That means we've got these two backwards. So we're gonna to wanna to go ahead and switch them.
Now we'll test it again. So we've got green, green, red. That means we're good to go. We have it in phase. Now, we'll switch over here to the radio's auxiliary. We have the speaker pop app. We'll go ahead and unlock the phone. Turn on. Okay, so we hear it making a thing, making sound. It's flashing, so we'll turn it down some so we can reduce the output. We don't want to damage the speakers. And there we go. It's showing us that it's we got it right, which we knew we already had. So now we can take this around to each speaker in the car and make sure that we have them all in phase and everything sounding amazing. Let's go ahead and wrap up this. So we're pretty much done here. We're going to go ahead and put our door panel back on and then listen and make sure everything sounds good. Well, everything sounds good, so we're done. For a full list of the tools that we used in this video, check out the link below. Also, as usual, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, we're going to try to do more videos like these, so stay tuned. You can find us on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. As usual, have a great night, and we'll see you next time. Bye.